This is so cool. Tracy is really gonna love this. And it's all thanks to Simeon. I never expected him to just hand me this car in just one million dollars. All right, boss, I've tracked him down. He just entered his house with the new car, just like you said. Yeah, I knew it. All right, homie, keep a close eye on Michael. Don't let that bastard get away. You see, that bastard has purchased the car for her daughter, and I'm sure that they will go somewhere out for the test drive. Then is when you attack. Michael being with his daughter will make him weak. Yeah, I know that, boss. Don't worry, I've got my number on him. He ain't gonna get away. Oh, yeah, now that's the spirit. Don't you dare kill him. Bring him alive, me and the boys have got some score to settle with yeah, him. Yeah, sure thing as you say, boss. Wow! wow. This is so cool! Dude, Thanks a lot for this oh, car, yeah. Dad. You Damn. are really the best. Man, yeah, oh man, I love this. Yeah. Just look at this Come car, on. it's top notch. Thank you for this wonderful go, gift, go, Dad. Go. <laughs> I'm glad that you love this. Nothing makes me more happy than seeing you happy, my sweet. Everything I do is for you, Jimmy and Amanda. I really love you guys with full of my heart. All right, I guess that's enough. Hey, Tracy, here you go. The car keys. Take good care of it. Of course. I will, Dad. Hey, Dad, if you don't mind, can I take my car for a long ride? I just want to check the car at its fullest. Yeah, sure thing. After all, this car now belongs to you and you only. So, yeah, you can do anything that you want. There's no reason to ask me, sweet. Go and enjoy yourself, baby girl. Oh, come on, Dad. Not with that baby girl tone. I'm 23 now. It doesn't matter how big you get. You will always be my baby girl, and I really love you. Yeah, even I love and respect you just like you. And once again, thank you for the car, Dad. You are really the best. Goodbye now, see you later. Yeah, goodbye, my baby girl. And hey, don't you overdo it. Take care of yourself by now. All right, all right! Just like how Boz expected, they're out for the drive. Just need to follow them and take them down. I better keep some distance or Michael will notice me. A little distance will do it. Yeah, this is just fine. All right, you bastard, Michael, you're going down. After what all three of these fools did to our boys, they're not going to get away with it. I'm going to make sure that every single one of them pays, including those bastards, Trevor and Franklin. A few moments later. Something is really wrong here. This car has been following me since I left home. Uh, what the? What in the devil is going on? Help! Someone please help me. <laughs> All right, I finally got them. Now it's time for payback. Hey, Michael, don't you dare try anything stupid, or else I will shoot the life out of your daughter. What the what? She is all alone. Damn me. I never expected her to be alone. Guess boss and I was wrong. I should have maintained my distance a lot closer. Damn me, damn me. Who in the hell are you? And what do you want from me? And how do you know my dad's name? I heard you saying Michael. What is this all about? Why are you after me? Oh, just shut up, lady. We don't have any business to do with you. The only thing we are after is your dad. You know what? Start running, or I will shoot the life out of you right now. And hey, you better tell your dad that Jack stole your car. And if he wants this car back, we will be waiting for him in our streets. Now, come on, start running. Don't you dare make me shoot you. Just go away now. And that was total opposite of what I expected. Oh, well, nothing can be done now. I better take this car. Because I'm sure he will come to get revenge on her daughter's car. And when he does, we will make him pay. How dare he mess with purples? We are going to give him a beating of his lifetime. And as for my car, I will pick that later. When we are done with this Michael problem. That was real scary. It's best that I got away when I did. How dare he robs my fabulous car. This is all because of Dad. I better inform him about this. Hey, hello there, baby girl. Are you enjoying your long ride? No! I'm not enjoying any of this. And this is all because of you, Dad. You always pick fight with someone, and then later we are the ones who always pay for it. A guy named Jack stole my car and he even was threatening me. That bastard really got me, Dad. Those damn ballas. How dare they bring my family into this? They have really went far. Hey, Tracy, tell me they didn't hurt you, right? If they did... Then they are effing dead! No, he didn't hurt me, I'm fine! Okay, okay! So where are you anyway? Tell me your location, I'm coming to pick you up! I'm in Waynehood Hills, backside of the Galileo Street. Alright, wait right there, baby girl! Dad is coming to pick you up! Yeah, sure thing, Dad. Those psychos ballas have crossed the damn line! And most of all, their co-leader, Jack! I'm gonna find him, then hurt him. He is not gonna get away with this. I'm gonna make sure of it. But first, guys, let's go and pick Tracy. She is in Waynehood Hills. 
All right, I'm here in Waynewood Hills. Now, where is Tracy? Um, where is she? Get over there, got her. Hey, baby girl, get in, let's go. Dad, what was that all about? Why are these creeps after you? I thought you were done with this gangster thing. Come on, you gotta explain me everything. Yeah, okay, okay, I will tell you everything. This all started five months ago. I, myself, Franklin, and Trevor, we were returning from a good old nice trip. And when we were heading back home, we were so excited. And in that excitement, we lost the car control and crashed Franklin's car into a car. And unfortunately, that car belonged to the ballast. We even apologized to them, but they started a fight. And just like that, we all started fighting each other. But that day, the cops interrupted us, and none of them wanted to go jail. So quickly, we escaped, and even the ballas escaped. We thought that was the end of that, but unfortunately, we were wrong. And some days later, those damn ballas came at Franklin, and thanks to Chop and Yogi, we found yeah, out yeah, you're that doing Franklin... good. Oh, yeah, I can understand you clear and crystal. Go on, go on. Okay, I got that. And then me and Trevor quickly went to their hideout, destroyed every ballast, and freed Franklin from them. But looks like it's still not as ended. The race cycle is repeating and repeating, and now they have turned this rivalry into an effing goal. They want to hurt us so bad that we don't even think of picking a fight against them. That is what those fools are trying to do still now. Wait a minute, what's going on over here? Why are these many cops over here at one place? Something is definitely wrong. Hey Trace, look, it's our car. And it looks like our car is in a real mess. This looks real bad to me. Hey, officers! This isn't my car. I promise. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's what I'm telling you this whole time. You robbed this car from this gentleman over here. Damn, this looks bad. Hey, Tracy, the officer is heading towards us. Don't you dare open your mouth. Just leave the talking to me, baby girl. I got yeah, this, Yeah, okay? Dad. After all, this is what you started. So you better deal with them. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? This is a no restricted area, so please get the hell out of here. Just get going already. Hey, officer, we are sorry about that, but can we ask you, what's really going on over here? You see, it's this damn Ballas again. They stole that yellow BMW car from that gentleman standing over there, and now when they are caught, they are refusing and telling us that they didn't steal that car from him. Those fools are just lying for no use, cause they know they are busted. Hey, hey, hey! That's Michael and her daughter. Couldn't have asked for a better timing. Hey, officers, look! Those guys are the ones. We stole this car from them. Look, they're standing right over there. Not another lie, Jack. Who do you think we are, a fool? We ain't gonna buy your crap just like that. No, I'm not lying, officers. These guys have really gone nuts. You're blaming everyone just so you can escape. They look innocent to me. But still, what are they doing over here? Hey, officer, ask them if they know anything about this car. Hey, guys, do you know anything about this car? Don't you dare lie to us. Now tell me, have you seen this car before? Does this car belongs to you? Because those ballas are blaming you. So tell me now, have you got anything to do with this car or not? Oh, officers, no, I don't know what they're talking about. These guys are just lying and blaming everyone else just so that they can escape from this situation. I bet even if someone else was standing here in my place, then they would have said the same thing to them as well. You know how these ballas are, ain't that right, officers? And in fact, this is the first time I'm seeing this car. Standing here doesn't mean I'm the culprit. Yeah, 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 officers. Mama, my dad is right. Those guys are just lying to you all. Sorry for that, guys. Hey, officers, they don't know anything about that car. Those fools are just lying. Just arrest them and let's get over with this. We can't waste our time in small cases like this. We don't have all day just for one car case, you know? Yeah, you are right, officer. We don't have all day. We saw the documents and everything, and this car really belonged to this gentleman standing beside me. So, Ballas, this is it for you. Your asses is going to jail now. I'm gonna bring my motherfucking pistol out. Idiot. You bastard, Punk. don't you dare try to hurt them. How dare you try to hurt civilians right in front of the cops. You have really crossed the damn line, you freak. <laughs> Officer, please just stop hurting him! Man, fuck you, pigs. You think you got it all because you got on that uniform? Take off that uniform, bitch. Hey, officers! You're really messing with the wrong people over here. This won't be good for you later, I promise. Time for your beatdown. 
I will destroy you! How could you even think of threatening a cop? You all lives are about to be doomed! You're going to jail, SOBs! And just like that, Ballas fell victim to the cops, and now Tracy and Michael were safe. The car really belonged to Gabriel, because he had the bill and all the paperwork which belonged to that car. But what's with this Simeon thing? Because he was the one who sold that car to Michael for one million dollars, with no documents proof at all. Something is really fishy, and Michael's gonna find that out. And there goes my Faburay car! Dad, I never expected this from you. How could you even gift your own daughter a stolen car? I thought you have changed, but it looks like you're getting worse and worse by time. Hey, Tracy, please don't think me wrong. I promise I never knew that was a stolen car. I guess that's the reason why he sold that car in just one million dollars. That bastard Simone really made a terrible oh. mistake by fooling me like that. He's gonna pay for this. Just you wait and watch. Tracy, I will prove you that I'm innocent in all of this. All right, I'm here. It's about time that I knock some sense into that snake. There's that bastard Simeon. He is going down for good. Simeon, you bastard! I'm going to kill you! Hey, 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 wait! Please, stop this, Michael! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, I beg you! Just hear me once, Michael. Just shut the hell up, you snake! I should have known better. You will never change. You're still the same sucker as in the past. Please hear me shit. once, Michael, please. What have you even got to explain? After pulling a stunt like that on your friend, you're a venomous snake. I started trusting you, but it looks like you're still that same sack of shit. Hey, I'm sorry, Michael. I had no intention of selling you that car. You see, when you came to my shop, you were looking for a good car. And I saw that you were really amazed by that yellow one. And I knew that it was a stolen a car. I just repainted that car in yellow, and I was afraid that the cops would catch me anytime. I was not able to think what to do next, and when I saw that excitement on your face after watching that car, then I quickly sold the car to you making less as one million dollar. Then later I realized that what I did was wrong. I should have never let my boy stole that car. I thought to tell you, but you were already gone. And I didn't want it to ruin Tracy's surprise. But then again, I thought that Los Santos cops are dumb. They won't be able to find that car. So I just let it off go and started my day as usual. But it looks like I was wrong about Los Santos police. I'm sorry what I did with you. Please forgive me, Mike. They both are the same. We just got lucky that the Ballas stole that car. Or else we would have been in jail instead of them. Just thinking about that makes me feel uneasy. I hate you, Dad. I hate you. I'm heading back home. Goodbye now. Enjoy with your good friends. No, no, no. Friend. Please wait, Tracy. I'm sorry, baby girl. Please come back. You're an irrelevant prick. Damn you, Simeon, damn you! You have ruined everything between me and my daughter! Man, I feel like killing hey, you. Hey, 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 please don't hurt me anymore! I can't take this. I know what I did was wrong, and I'm gonna make it up for that. So what, huh? Are you gonna cry and brag about forgiveness? Is that how you're gonna make up for this? No, not like that. I know what I did was wrong. So I'm gonna make it up the right way. You see, it all started from a car. So in order to solve this, you can take whichever car you like, and it will be all free. In this way, you can gift this other cars to Tracy and make up with it. Oh, okay. But tell me these cars are not stolen like the last one, right? No, these are not stolen. These cars are legits, I promise. All right, then I guess I will take this red Ferrari. Tracy really likes Ferrari. Maybe she will even forgive me after seeing this car. Take good care of it, and once again, I'm sorry. And goodbye, Michael. Yeah, whatever, you bastard. See you later. All right, I better go and fix things between me and Tracy. I hope that she forgives me and accepts this car. So this is it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Let's just hope Tracy accepts this car in next episode and amends with Michael. Those bastards are going to pay for this. Most of all, Michael, I will destroy that bastard once I get out from this cell. And heck, I'm gonna get my revenge on these cops too. How dare they humiliate us in our own hood. I'm gonna get them all. Just you wait and watch.